Hello, I'm Rebecca Flatty, and this is the first in a series of fun geometric pattern tutorials that I've been working on for you. This week, we're going to be making this diagonal stripe pattern here. You don't need to be able to draw to make this pattern as we're going to be making it all with simple shapes. If you're familiar with Procreate and know how patterns work and are familiar with things like snapping and transforming, then this should be an easy tutorial for you to follow along with. If you're new to patterns and Procreate, you might find it a bit trickier, but if you follow along step by step, you will end up with an identical pattern to me at the end. I'm going to describe this as more of a fun and creative project rather than one which I would necessarily use for commercial purposes. That's just because we're going to be doing a lot of chopping up and transforming, which can sometimes reduce image resolution in Procreate. So whilst I might not sell this design, it's absolutely perfect for things like making wallpapers for social media backgrounds or posts. There's no reason why you couldn't sell a pattern like this somewhere like Spoonflat as long as you're happy with the overall quality of it, but that's the thing you'd need to be checking really carefully as you go to make sure that you're happy with the resolution and accuracy in it. Mostly though, I just wanted to share these tutorials with you because they are so much fun to make. I love experimenting in Procreate and thinking of different ways to use the snapping to be able to make new types of patterns. It's a really good workout for your brain and it's kind of like putting a jigsaw together or solving a puzzle. You'll definitely learn some concepts that you can use to make lots of different patterns like this in Procreate. We're going to start by creating a new document 12 inches square. So if you come up here to the little plus icon, I already have a document preset in this size here, but I'll show you how to do one if you don't have that already. So tap on the plus icon and you can change it to inches and type in 12 inches, or you can leave it in pixels and it's 3600 pixels. You want to have the width and height 3600 pixels and the DPI 300. I'm going to tap on cancel and just tap on my preset instead so I don't end up making another preset. So step one is to grab a color, any color. I'm going to stick to black and white for now and then we'll recolor it later. So I'll grab the black color, your background can be white, and I'm going to tap on the layer and tap fill layer. Now I'm going to zoom out a bit. I'm going to tap up here to transform and I'm going to tap this blue node here. I'm going to unconstrain the image by tapping on this link and I'm going to change it to a width of 400 pixels. And then this box here is for the height and I'm going to change this one to 9000 just so it's going right off the edges. Then I'm going to make sure I've got snapping and magnetics turned on and then I'm going to drag this and center it in the middle of the document like that. You can see those orange lines intersecting there. Then without tapping anything else, I'm going to rotate it 45 degrees. So that's now perfectly 45 degrees and it's centered in the middle of the canvas. At this point, you can tap up here to set that. So now we've got this perfect diagonal line going from edge to edge of the canvas now. So I'm going to duplicate this layer three times altogether. So we've got one here in the middle and I'm going to put one up here and one down there. So I'm going to grab this layer here, tap to transform. I've got my interpolation method down here set as nearest neighbor for this part of the project because we're working with tiny pixels, we don't want any smoothing. So I'm going to tap to transform and drag this and snap it over to the edge here. You'll get these orange lines here to show that it's in the right place. Then I'm going to grab one of the others and drag this over to the right edge. Don't pinch anything together at this stage. So what we need to do is extend this down in that direction, the same angle so that this part down here is filled in. I'll just hide this one up here so that we're not getting confused, that one. And we're going to duplicate this layer here at the bottom. And I'm just going to add a layer underneath and I'm going to add a really small dot just behind that layer there so that it will be easy to zoom in and check that that part is seamless where they join. As you can see here, we've got this 45 degree line of pixels there. And what we want to do is carry that on perfectly in this direction. So by having that little dot there, it's easy to zoom in on just the right part and make sure we've done that. So on this layer here, either of these two, it doesn't really matter which one you choose. I'm going to tap to transform that and with snapping and magnetics on, I'm going to drag this down at a 45 degree angle. And then if we zoom in here to our little dot, you should see that that is now perfectly lined up. So if I turn this layer off, you can see that's where it ends. And there we go, it carries on in the same pattern. So that is now fully seamless, that part. You'll notice there's a difference in color between these two pixels. 
and that's because this is like maybe I don't know 30 or 40 percent opacity and then when you put one on top of the other those opacities stack up and that's why that part is darker where they're overlapping at the end when we finish this pattern we're going to flatten everything and bring the opacity up to 100 for the whole of this so don't worry about that part now looking different so now we've got that continual diagonal line there we can merge these two layers together we can now hide that one and we're going to do exactly the same thing with this line up here we're going to move it up that way um, so we'll go onto this layer with the dot and draw another one behind there so we can zoom in and check and now we'll duplicate this layer here drag this one up at the diagonal 45 degree angle and then zoom in where it joins there just to make sure that's looking okay before we flatten it and now we've got these three stripes, I'll hide the dots for now so that we can deal with those later. At this point we can flatten all of these onto one single layer. I'm going to duplicate this layer and I'm going to use it to fill in these corners and then that will complete my stripes pattern. So I've duplicated this layer, I'm going to tap to transform and I'm going to drag it up and over and snap it into the corner here. You'll see those orange lines there. Then I'm going to duplicate that bottom layer again tap to transform and we'll drag it down and to the right and snap that into place in the corner again looking for those orange lines so that you know it's in the right place there if you wanted quite wide stripes you could leave this here and call it done if you want a second row of stripes in between then don't merge these two layers yet because we're going to use these for snapping this when we duplicate this layer so tap to transform and we're going to drag it almost like a quarter of the way up and it will snap just up here if I just leave that there for a moment, I'll show you what it's snapping to. So let's hide that one. So this layer here, if I tap to transform that. It's what it's doing is snapping halfway up that layer. So that's actually 900 pixels down from the top of the canvas. So now you can duplicate this bottom layer again. Tap to transform and we're going to drag it about a quarter of the way down and it should snap into place there again onto the other one. So now we've got these nice diagonal stripes going in between the first ones we drew as well. You can zoom in and check all these edges. If you want to be really precise, you could pan all the way up and down all of these to make sure that they are definitely all in the right place. As long as you've used the same size as I have, got the snapping and magnetics on, this will all line up and it should all be perfectly smooth. So I'm going to delete the dots because we don't need those anymore. And whether you've gone for these thin stripes or the thicker stripes, once you've finished, you can merge these all onto one layer together. And then if you remember I said where we had the different opacities on here, the way we're going to get rid of those and make this all 100% opacity is just to duplicate this layer several times. So we'll duplicate this until that looks fully black and fully opaque there. Maybe one more for luck. So I've duplicated it one, two, three, four extra times. So that should be enough to bring this up to full opacity. And all of those stripes are now 100% black. You can then pinch and merge all of those together. And then we can have a play and round with the colors. So for the background color, I'm gonna go for this pink. And then for my stripes, I'm gonna alpha lock them and choose this bright orange color for that. So that is how you would make a diagonal stripe pattern in Procreate. We can test that that's repeating properly now. So I'm going to swipe down with three fingers and copy all. Then I'm going to swipe down again and choose paste. So we've got a flattened copy of this tile now. I'm going to turn off my stripes and I'm going to make the background layer black so that if there's any gaps or mistakes in this pattern, that black will show through. That's a good way of checking that there's no mistakes in your patterns in Procreate. So I'm going to tap to transform and I'm going to change the interpolation method back to bicubic for this part. I'm going to drag this up here and snap it into the middle, 1800 pixels. Then I'm going to duplicate it again and drag it across to the right and snap it into place there. I'm going to zoom into the middle and make sure that that's all lined up properly and that there's no gaps and that the edges of the diamond are looking, sorry, the edges of the diagonal are looking correct. You can see that's tiling nicely there. So now we can pinch those two layers together. I'm going to duplicate those and then snap them down to the bottom and then again just to make sure the top and bottom seams are tiling properly i'm gonna just show and hide that one and zoom in to where they join just to make sure that that line carries on there and then you can pinch those two layers together and that is your pattern now tiling properly 
Thank you for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed watching this tutorial and that you have a go at making this pattern. Don't forget to share your patterns on Instagram and tag me at Becky Flaherty. If you want to see more from me, don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube for pattern tutorials like this every week. You can see more of my art on Instagram. And if you want to see more in-depth courses from me, you can find those over on Skillshare. If you're not already on Skillshare and sign up using the link below, you'll get 30 days for free. Have fun, stay creative, and I will see you next time.